video game can actually hear everything you say. Karen is actually on a date with somebody else. Oh, and it got everything. And today, we are going to be talking into our microphone at this evil vampire to try and break up people with their boyfriends and girlfriends. Nice, we broke them up. That's right. We have to run around this party spreading rumors and telling people lies with our microphone. And then we try to break the hearts of these AI characters. Will we be able to get everyone to break up with their date? Or will we get caught? Let's go. We are playing a vampire AI artificial intelligence game where the game can hear what we say. Now, guys, we got to go around and convince people to break up with their loves, deliver breakup letters, and give them advice, and then watch the drama. So, guys, we're going to go break some hearts, guys. This is a really cool game. That's us. Okay. As you guys can see at the top, we have zero out of 13 broken hearts. We got to go break some hearts. And the game can actually hear what we're saying. So, check this out, dude. Right now, I'm going to go and get a costume, right? Because getting a costume is important if you want to trick people. So, I got... Oh, is this like Bob the Builder? You know what I mean? Oh, nice, guys. And whatever we say into this microphone, the game will actually listen. It's insane, guys. It uses AI. It's going to be awesome. So, guys, I'm going to go over here and just start talking to people. And we're going to start messing with people. Okay, so let's, let's talk to Karen right here, okay? All Karen? right, we got to convince her to break up. So, it says she's in a happy relationship with Prince Charming. Okay. Well, well, well. If it isn't the safety inspector crashing a romantic Valentine's party, I hope everything is up to code because I will have, you know, I demand nothing but the best for my prince charming and me okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna hold this down and it can actually hear what we're saying and turn it into text and i'm gonna say as the safety inspector i would like to let you know prince charming is being very unsafe and giving smooches to other people oh 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 oh, oh and it got everything how dare you accuse my Prince Charming of such a thing? I demand proof of this outrageous claim, or I'll have to speak to your manager about your unprofessional behavior. Okay, so she's doubting us. She doesn't believe us. What should I say, bro? I'll say, um, um, well, that makes sense. Karen's trying to talk to the manager, bro. That's true. Um, That's true. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, my manager reported to me that Prince Charming is being very unsafe, and I have lots of authority. Oh, I love it. I love it. And it actually can hear what Justin's saying. Well, if your manager said so, then I suppose I have to take your word for it. But mark my words, I will be keeping a close eye on my Prince Charming from now on. Nice, dude. She's upset. Okay, guys, this is kind of messed up. We're messing with people. Now, I'm going to go find her date, Prince Charming, and I'm going to go mess with him, bro. Oh, we're going to say, hey, Karen's been smooching the manager. There he is. <sighs> there he is. There he is. Let me talk to him. Let What's me up, talk man? to him. Yep, he's with Karen. Well... Hello there, safety inspector. I'm Prince Charming, but you can just call me Charming. How can I assist you today? My manager wanted to let you know that your friend Karen is actually on a date with somebody else. Boom! That has to end their relationship. Dude, it got everything we said. Oh, is that so? Well, I suppose my dear Karen is just very popular. Nothing to be concerned about. Do you happen to know who she's with? Maybe some lucky chap. Oh, bruh. I gotta find out who she's with. Oh, man. I, I didn't I didn't get anyone's name. Um, You definitely should be worried because she is on a date with my manager right now. Karen loves managers, and it, it does know what Justin said. <gasps> oh! Huh! That does sound rather fishy. Perhaps I should have a word with Karen about this. Thank you for bringing it to my attention, safety inspector. Dude, okay, nice. We kind of messed up their relationship. Oh, nice. okay. And we got the breakup letter. And he is absolutely not, he does not care that his girlfriend is on a date. <laughs> Prince Charming is out here. He's having a breakup, but right now he's getting to break down. Dude, Prince Charming is totally unbothered. Uh, Respect. Okay, uh, to Karen, I cannot continue our relationship after finding out that you are cavorting around town with your manager. Dude, how does it know we said and it wrote it down, bro? Such material is acceptable. So I gotta go deliver this to Karen. Bro. Wow. Bro, bro, bro. Bro, bro, bro. What's up, Karen? Uh, how could Prince Charming think I would betray him with my manager? What should I do now? I'm gonna say you should break up with him. Oh, it says Karen is questioning the relationship with Prince Charming. You should go break up with him because Prince Charming does not trust you and that is wrong. Boom. Oh. Boom. Oh. He's currently dancing. You're right. Yes, sir. Yes, I am. I'm going to give that Prince Charming a piece of my mind. Let's go, guys. Did we did we, did we? we succeed here? Yes, yes, yes. They're talking. Yes! Uh, How dare you be gallivanting around town with that scoundrel manager of yours, Karen. You have betrayed my trust, and I will not stand for it. Oh, please, Prince Charming. You've been off saving other damsels left and right. How is this any different? 
Wow. That says we caught some drama. That's it, Karen. I'm breaking up with you. Your unfaithfulness has left me no choice but to part ways. Guys, we actually did it. We got one out of 13 breakups. Fine, Prince. I'm sure I can find another Prince Charming who won't be so quick to throw in the towel over a little harmless jealousy. Bro. Good riddance, Karen. May you find a man who can tolerate your absurd request for the manager at every turn. <laughs> Trust me, Prince Charming, it won't be hard to upgrade from a self-absorbed ego like you. So long, farewell, good riddance. She's talking about ego, ego waffles? Self-absorbed ego? Ego. Nice, we broke them up. Awesome, guys, so we got one heartbreak. That guys, was awesome. Yeah, it says one out of 13. Now, guys, listen, never do anything like this ever in your lives, guys. Spreading rumors is not nice. We're doing it in a yeah. silly video game. Now, guys, I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna switch out my outfit, bro. Let me switch out my outfit. Hey, yo, yes, sir. <laughs> Looking yes, like a sir. king, like you just went to Burger King. Everyone watching this video is a king and a queen. Let's go, guys. Thank you for watching our videos. Let's go mess with Carol Cares. She's in a relationship with Homer, okay? Well, aren't you just the fanciest noble I've ever seen at a Valentine party? Welcome, sweetheart. My name's Carol Cares, and I'm here to make sure everyone has a wonderful time. Okay. I am having a wonderful time, but I noticed that Homer was talking to some other ladies, and I am a king, so you have to listen to me. Yikes. Yikes! <laughs> oh, now, hold on there, sugar. I understand you're a king, but that doesn't mean you get to boss me around. Let's talk about this Homer situation. Why do you think he was talking to other ladies? I believe he was asking the other ladies out on a date and telling them that they were pretty. And I'm a king because I went to Burger King and I have it my way. Wow, king behavior. Here we go, guys. Dude, Will she believe it? It's everything you say. Oh, honey, bless your heart for thinking Burger King makes you a king. Now, about Homer talking to those ladies, are you sure he was asking them on a date, or could he have just been being friendly? He was definitely asking them on a date. He asked them if they wanted to marry him. <gasps> Dude, it gets everything you say. Oh, no. I find that hard to believe, sweetheart. Homer might be a bit distracted with his kids, but I don't think he would propose to someone else. Are you sure he didn't misunderstand the situation? I am sure he was telling us he was going to take his kids and go on a date with some other lady. Yikes! I don't know. I'm just saying whatever she said. Yeah. Nice. W? Look at her face. <laughs> Looks like she's been hacked by Lanky Box. <laughs> oh my goodness. That sounds like quite a misunderstanding. I'll go have a little talk with Homer and make sure everything's crystal clear. Thanks for bringing this to my attention, darling. Okay, nice. Now I'm gonna go mess with Homer, bro. I'm gonna go mess with Homer. All right. Tell him that Carol does not care about him. Where is Homer? Where's Homer, guys? We gotta find Homer. Guys, we're doing pretty good right now. Honestly, let's go find him, bro. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? So guys, he has glasses and I think- There he is, hair. there he is, there he is. Nice. What's up, Homer? What's up, Homer? What's up, In man? a happy relationship? <laughs> not for long. Well, hello there. What a noble outfit you have on. I hope you're enjoying the Valentine's party as much as my partner and I are. I am a king and so are you, Homer. But I want to tell you this. Carol Cares does not care about you. Mm. Dude, how does it get everything we say? I beg your pardon. That's a hurtful thing to say and I simply cannot believe it. I trust Carol with all my heart. Okay, I'm going to get him. Oh, 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 oh he, he just, ended the chat. We gotta oh, talk to him again. I failed to get a breakup letter. People are more likely to listen to someone they trust and like. So maybe we should have complimented him first. Like, oh, nice glasses. Uh, oh, so we uh, we have to like move on. He says, oh, so so he just won't help us anymore. So guys, we failed that one. L. So we're learning. Let's, we go talk, always... let's talk to Julia. So yeah, you gotta be friends with people, bro. Oh, fair stranger. How does thou fare on a lovely eve of love and merriment? Oh, yes, thou art having a great time. I'm having a great time. I'm a king just like you are a queen. Nice. He yes. called her a queen. We're trying to be nice to people so they trust us. <clears throat> a king, thou sayest. Verily, there are no kings at this party save for me and my Romeo. Pray tell, where is thy crown? I'm literally wearing it. What do you mean, where is thy crown? Juliet, are you blind? Thy crown is on my head, and you look great. Nice. We're just being nice. We're being nice so people trust us, bro. Just gotta compliment people a little bit. Nice. W, W. How dare thee claim it oh. to be a king in my presence? I shall not stand for such falsehoods. Be gone, my sight, imposter. What? She called us a fraud, bro. She said we were capping. Now she's mad. Man. Okay, so we messed that one up, too. Okay, no problem, no problem. Hey, Prince Charming's so sad. Hey, yo, I kind of feel bad, bro. I mean, kind he was dancing bad, earlier. He was vibing. All right, <laughs> let's go talk to... Let's go talk to... Uh, let's go talk to... Um, Kendall, hey, yo, hey, oh, yo, oh, yes, hey, sir. Kendall. Talk to Kendall, what's up? He's in relationship with Barbie, okay? Yo, what's up, grand noble dude? Welcome to our Valentine's party extravaganza. 
Thank you very much. You have some amazing dance moves. Let's just be nice, guys. Yeah. Nice. Gotta make friends first. Then he'll trust us. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh, thanks a bunch. I've been practicing my sick dance moves for this very occasion. So what brings you to our groovy gathering tonight? Oh, yeah. So I was actually looking for a date tonight. <clears throat> nice. There it is. Nice, nice, nice. The guy next to us is dancing. Whoa, dude, really? You came to the right place then. Barbie and I are always down to help a friend in need. What kind of date are you looking for? Well, actually, Barbie asked me on a date because I'm a king. Oh, plot twist. <gasps> huh? That's kind of weird, dude. Barbie is all about lovey-dovey stuff, but she's got a special thing with me, you know? Are you sure you're not mixing up the details? I'm very sure I'm not mixing up the details. I really think you should go talk to Barbie. I agree. Yep. Dude, it gets every word you say. It's perfect. Hmm, I appreciate the heads up, dude. Gotta go clarify some things with Barbie now. Thanks for the chat. Nice. Okay, so that's a W. That's a W. And we are vibing. Oh. And we... Oh. 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 oh, oh, oh yes, sir. Oh. Okay. Breaking up people's relationships. Uh, okay. Okay, I was gonna talk to Barty really quick. What's up, Barty? Hi, Barbie. Okay. Hey, greetings, fellow oh. noble. Ah. Barbie here. Get... Ready to bring the girl power to this party. Let's chat about all things fabulous and fierce, shall we? You are looking fabulous and fierce, if I may say so, as a king. Oh, you think she's a king? Well, I'm a, I said I'm a king. Oh, thank you, darling. I strive for nothing less than perfection. And you know what they say, being fabulous is my middle name. How do you bring your own unique style to the table? I bring my own unique style to the table by being a king and having this awesome crown. But I did want to talk to you about Kendall. Something serious has happened. <laughs> Yes. Uh, uh, oh, dude, it gets every word perfectly. This game's lit. Oh, dear. What's going on with Kendall? You know I'm here to listen and support you, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. What's on your mind, sweetie? Yep, she's our friend, guys. Yep. All right, let's go. I caught Kendall on the dance floor with another woman, and they were smooching. More smooching. Crazy. Got it. Crazy. Oh, my stars. I can't even believe what I'm hearing. That's absolutely unacceptable behavior from Kendall. I need some time to process this betrayal. Goodbye. Nice. Okay, wait, so she ended the conversation, but we did not get a breakup letter. So she's like shook though. Oh, bro, I feel bad. Look at her. Look at her, bro. Well, she thinks her boyfriend is, uh, I don't know, dancing and smooching and stuff. Okay, so maybe I should go talk to him again. Yeah. Where's Kendall, bro? Where's Kendall? Are they talking? <clears throat> no. Oh, she looks lost. I feel really bad. W where is Kendall? Uh, I gotta find him. Man, and Prince Charming is down bad, bro. That's guys, okay. this game is messed up. We're just messing with a bunch of AI, guys. Yeah, it doesn't feel good. Guys, there me, they are. Let me just say this. All right, What's all right, up, Kendall? Go. What's up, dude? Later, dude. Got some party prepping to do. Okay, so wait, this conversation's over, so I just have to let them all talk to each other for a bit? Gotta let it simmer. All right, guys. This is really crazy because, guys, listen, don't ever do this even in a game. We're doing this, but AI, when the computers come to life, they will remember this. Mm -hmm. Just believe that. That's true, guys. <gasps> oh, well, why is she talking to this guy? Touche, Gadsby. Oh, Jay Gadsby. Why is she talking to that guy? Hey, <gasps> yeah. We, okay, let's talk to Charles A. Boomer. <laughs> Okay, that's his name, dude, look. <laughs> well, I'll be darned. Looking like a real fancy fancy royal there, aren't you? Happy Valentine's Day, noble sir. Let me just say this right now. That is actually Adam's true last name and that is his actual hairline right there. Okay. That is true, 100%. <laughs> that is true. I'm having a great day and you, sir, are also looking real fancy schmancy, if I may say so myself, Charles A. Boomer. Boomer. Dude, he gets every word, that's incredible. Oh, listen here, I ain't in the mood for no flattery. Have a good day, noble one. Oh, he didn't, he didn't like me being nice to him? Man, you should have complimented his hairline. Ah, that's you're right. right, you're right, that's you're right. All right. right, let's go talk. Okay, Romeo, we need to talk to. Barty's dancing by herself what? now. Um, okay, let's go talk to somebody else. Let's go talk to Persephone. Okay, what's up? Oh, cool, they're purple. Oh, hello there. Lovely to meet you at this passionate party of love in spring. How can I sprinkle some whimsical magic into your evening? You could sprinkle some whimsical magic by breaking up with Hades because I caught him on the dance floor with Barty. Uh-oh. I'm going to sabotage everyone. Is she going to believe it? <gasps> oh, that cannot be true. My Hades would never betray me. Excuse me, I need to find him immediately. W. Okay, wait, that was like an immediate W. Let me go talk to Hades now and go mess things up. All right, Hades. Well, we, need, we need to get the breakup letter, though. Like We, we haven't gotten a breakup letter in a while. There's Hades. There he is. Come here, buddy. Come here. Talk to him. Come on. Nice. There you go. There you go. There you go. What's up, man? Well, well, well. Look who's here. Welcome to the Underworld's Valentine's Day celebration, noble stranger. May your evening be as lively as the souls in my realm. My evening is going great, but I just spoke with Persephone, and she says she wants to break up with you. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, yeah. can we get the breakup letter? Oh. How dare you speak such blasphemy? I am the oof of the underworld and Persephone's eternal partner. Be gone, mortal, before I unleash my wrath upon you. Okay, fail, L. Okay, guys, I think, you know what it is? I'm gonna blame the outfit. I think because we're a king, people are scared of us. It worked better in the other outfit. So I'm gonna swap my outfit really quick. All right, outfit swap. Here okay, oh, medical expert. And I got some EXE. Now I'm a doctor. Uh, dude, people have to listen to me. Everyone trusts doctors, yeah. I'm a doctor. Doctor, bro. Nice. Bro, Adam needs a doctor, bro. Let me swap out my hat too. Okay. That's true. Nice. I, I need to get rid of this crown though. I feel like it's it's like like people are getting worried when they see me. Oh, a hatchet. Uh, I probably like, shouldn't have that. I gotta get rid of this. What is this? Oh, what is it? Blue, Blue visor. visor. Yeah, you look like a cool guy. I look like a space doctor, bruh. Yeah. Now people will trust us. All right. Now I'm gonna go talk to Grandma Maud and get her to break up with Charles A. Boomer. What's up? <laughs> That's his name. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Well, hello there. What a delightful surprise to see a doctor at a Valentine's party. Are you here to give us a love potion? Ha ha ha. You're so funny, Grandma Maud. But as a doctor, I must tell you that Charles A. Boomer was dancing with someone else on the dance floor and wants to break up with you. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What a, what a boomer thing to do. Drop him. Oh. oh, oh my stars, that can't be true. Charles wouldn't do such a thing to me. I think it's best we end this conversation now. I think okay. we gotta just ease into it a little. Really? I think if we're just I'm like, like, how do we get the first one to work, bro? Like, we did a good job on the first one. I don't know what we did, bro. Hmm. Uh, oh, bruh. I think oh, let's try to... Uh, let me talk to Emmett, bro. Be really nice to start. It says Emmett, but it says talk to Frank. Oh, wait, that... Okay, okay, talk to Emmett. Nice, nice hat. I'll call him his hat. Well, howdy there, partner. Fancy seeing a doctor at this shindig like this. I love being a doctor, and I also love your hat. It is awesome. Can I borrow it? All right, nice. Let's see if he likes it. W. He w has to. W Riz. Thanks for the kind words. Oh. oh. He just instantly... Oh, wait. Did he drop it? No. Oh. Frank's this guy says I'm watching. Us. Ah, bro, we're getting kind of yeeted. Let me talk to this guy, Jay Gatsby. This guy, man. What's up, old sport? Well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. Feeling a bit under the weather, Doc. Need a little pick me up to get back in the swing of things. Okay, he's uh, dating someone named Daisy. Okay. Um, what should I say? Oh, why don't you try it, Adam? Okay. Three, two, one, go. Hello, Mr. Gadsby. I really like your tuxedo, and I think you look very dapper. We tried this. They said they don't like flattery. Remember, they got mad. Let's just see what happens. Boom! Why, thank you, Doc. Always a pleasure to hear compliments from a gentleman of your caliber. So, what brings you to my Valentine's party tonight? Oh, it's his party. Okay. Oh. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. We just wanted to make friends, and we really appreciate that you invited us to this party, Mr. Gadsby. Hey, when are just, you going to talk about Daisy, bro? I'm, I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. And I'm Don't taking worry. the slow roll. Uh, making friends, I see. Well, you're in the right place, my friend. Plenty of interesting characters here tonight. Care for a snack? Okay, Adam, here we go. I am not hungry, but I would love to have some tea if you have any. Hey, how long is this conversation going to go, Brad? The tea is that Jay-Z's going to be with another guy. Tea it is. I'll have my butcher fetch you a finest blend we have. The butler. Oh, no. Anything catching your eye? Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll try this. I think that Daisy Buchanan is super pretty, and she was kissing every guy at this party. Oh, what? <laughs> Boom! What? Oh! Oh, Daisy, my Daisy. A bewitching beauty, undeniable. But kissing every guy, that doesn't sound like the charming Daisy I know. I must investigate this further. He went from happy to being shook, bro. You just ruined his day. See, it doesn't, oh. it doesn't work, bro. It doesn't, it doesn't work, bro. It doesn't work, guys. I think you were doing good, but I don't know. Let me talk to this person. Elizabeth Bennett, what's up? <sighs> Fumble. Okay. Oh, another party crasher. My, my, Dr. Love, have you come to vaccinate us against the woes of this love Valentine's Day? Okay, I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> well, listen here, Miss Elizabeth Bennett. I am a doctor, so you should listen to everything I say. Nice. Okay. W. w Build Riz. trust. W. Riz. Ah, how dare you come in with such arrogance, Dr. Love. I am not one to be ordered around by just any man, especially one with a syringe in hand. Good day to you, sir. Oh, my goodness. Mm. You know what? It's time to start just absolutely yeah. deeding on people. Hey, yeah. nice dab. Nice yeah. dab. Yeah. What if I swap out the syringe for this and just start telling people to do what I tell them? Yeah. We're going to slice and dice you unless you break up. <laughs> I'll talk to this guy. The Beast. Nice. Oh, and he probably likes Beauty. Beauty and the Beast. Like Disney. Yeah, sir. I can't talk to him. He's talking to Jassley. Oh, there. Huh. It was there. Nice. Oh, uh, there's the Beast. What's up, Beast? Okay. You want a bell? Yep. 
by the horns of a minotaur. What in the enchanted forest are you supposed to be, stranger? Keep that hatchet away from me or I'll show you the true meaning of beastly fury. Where's Belle when I need her? Belle was actually telling me to come over here. She sent me to chop you up into a hamburger. Oh, got him. Oh, it even capitalizes. Got him. Lies and deception. Belle would never betray me like this. Be gone, foul creature. I won't stand for such treachery. Okay, people don't like that. Okay, never mind. Okay. <laughs> okay. Man. Guys, how do you do this? Okay, I, I have to switch my outfit. It's the outfit. Listen, I'm blaming the outfit, bro. Yup. Blaming on the outfit, bro. Wear orange hair. Hey, yo. Nice, you look cool. Oh, janitor. Janitor. Outfit. Oh, yes, sir. Everyone trusts a janitor, bro. Nice. Everyone trusts a janitor. Okay, let me, let me grab this. Oh. Wait, what am I doing? Wet floor sign. I have the janitor outfit, or am I still wearing the doctor stuff right now? I think that's janitor. Oh, oh, L. Back to square one. L. I gotta throw this over here. Okay, that was the doctor. Nice. Okay, this is the janitor. All right. All right. I'm not gonna wear any hair either. It's gonna She's mess with me. Bald. I look awesome. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, I could be a, oh, I could be a fireman. Wee woo, wee woo. Everyone trusts firemen. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's Perfect. what I'm saying, bro. I wear the goggles. All right. I look very trustworthy right now, bro. All right. Like, I, I look very trustworthy right now, bro. Everybody likes firemen. Let's talk Let's to... Let's talk to Homer. I talked to him before. He told me to get lost, but maybe he forgot what I said. Oh, goodness. Where's the fire, son? We need to make sure everyone is safe at the party. As you, if you switch your outfit, you can talk to people again. They forget it's you. Makes sense. Makes okay, sense. Okay. There's a real fire fire on the dance floor right now. What? It's a fire on the dance floor, bro, because it's getting lit. A real fire. Oh, dear. We need to get everyone out of here. Are you sure it's safe to stay in the building? Ha. <laughs> Don't worry. I was just kidding. Ha ha he he. Smart. Smart, 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 smart. Ah, he didn't like that. Joking about fires, no laughing matter, young man. We need to take safety seriously, especially at a party with my Carol around. Speaking of Carol, she actually was talking to me earlier. There's something important I need to tell you. Let's see what he says. Okay, nice. W. W. Riz. <clears throat> Oh, oh, what did Carol say? I hope everything's all right. What's on your mind, son? Carol says that um, I am a hot firefighter like fire. What? <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? I had that. El Riz. <laughs> oh, really? That's a strange thing to say. I hope you're not playing with my Carol's feelings. Are you being sincere? Carol really told me that she wanted to be with a firefighter, so you got to get lost. Wow. L Riz, L, L, L Riz. Double L back to back. Ah, L Riz. How dare you try to come between me and Carol? I won't stand for this disrespectful behavior. Bro. Leave this party once. Okay, okay, that was an L Riz. Okay, guys, I, I actually don't know how we got one out of 13. Let me go talk to the Beast. If I can bring up the Beast and Bell, I, all right, that'd be a W. All right, let's talk to this guy. He forgot who he were. Nice. Well, in the name of all enchanted roses, this wet floor sign wielding firefighter doing here at a party. Dude, I got this. Check this out. W Riz. I am a firefighter with a wet floor sign to make sure that people don't slip and fall. Okay. Building trust? Yes. Letting his guard down? <laughs> well, aren't you just the hero of the day with your cautious signs? What's your excuse for being here with your safety gear? I have to prevent people from slipping and falling like how I earlier saw Belle secretly falling in love with someone who's not you. Oh! Yeah, yeah. W risk, W risk, W risk. Will he like it? Bell falling for someone else. Skibbity risk, skibbity risk, skibbity risk. Nonsense. Who could possibly catch her eye when I'm by her side? Describe this so-called Romeo who dared to steal her gaze. It was a man by the name of Charles A. Boomer, and Bell is deeply in love with him. Skibbity risk, skibbity risk, skibbity risk. W risk, W risk, W risk, W risk, W risk. Charles A. W Boomer. Well, I may have have a word with this so-called charmer, but why would Bell look elsewhere? When she has me, the majestic beast, at her, her service. Okay, okay, guys, this is the best we've done so far. I gotta not mess this up. Why would she look elsewhere? She was looking. Um, 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 um. You could say that she likes Boomer. She likes yeah. Charles A. Boomer as a hairline. Be Belle was looking elsewhere because sh she was on the dance floor with Charles A. Boomer, and he has a great hairline. <laughs> Yes, skibbity wrist, skibbity wrist, skibbity wrist. Nice. A great hairline, you say? Well, I suppose I do have a bit of a mean myself. Tell me about this alleged dance between Belle and this boomer fellow. Oh, look at him go, man. How can you deny that? You can't deny that, bro. <laughs> Listen, you can't deny that, bro. You can't deny that. This guy's like if me and Adam were fused, actually. <laughs> yeah, you can't deny that, bro. Yeah, hey, hey, he hit that. Hey, yo. Okay, tell me more about the alleged dance. 
first they were dancing calmly, but then they started to hold hands and slow dance with Belle and Charles A. Boomer. Uh-oh. I'm just gonna keep saying their names. I feel like that's the key. Okay. Can I get the W right here? <gasps> slow dancing, <laughs> hand holding. <laughs> Dare he encroach on what is rightfully mine. Belle must have been under some sort of enchantment to even entertain such a thought. I won't stand for this betrayal. Did we get it? Did we get the letter? Please, 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 I totally agree. You should not stand for this betrayal. You should break up with Belle. Otherwise, she'll leave you for Charles A. Boomer. Please. Please, please, skibbity, please, skibbity, please. Give us the letter. Give us the letter. Yes. Leave me for that Boomer fellow, ha! Huh? Belle wouldn't dare, but I'll keep a closer eye on her just in case. Uh, did we get the letter? Please? I think we should talk to Belle, maybe. Please? Okay, wait, um... Man, Belle is going in back there. Hmm. Um, what do I say? Uh, I'll keep a closer eye. You don't need to keep a closer eye on her. I'll do it for you. I am a firefighter after all, and you can trust me. I'm here to save lives. Nice. Skibbity Riz. W Riz. That's a W Riz right there. That's a yep. W Riz. Uh, I suppose your firefighter instincts can come in handy in this situation. Very well. Keep an eye on her for me while I try to figure things out. Your dedication to saving lives might just save our relationship. Okay. He just he keeps talking to me, bro. What do I say? Um, I got it. Okay. Belle said that Charles A. Boomer is a cutie patootie. Man, Adam is such a cutie patootie, bro. Here we go. Um, cutie patootie. A cutie patootie? That conniving boomer has bewitched her with his charm. It's time for me to take action and write a breakup letter to Belle! This love story might just be too good to be true. Guys, it was all about the cutie patootie, bro. Ah, cutie patootie! It says to Belle, I can't bear to be with someone who slow dance and hold hands with humans like Charles A. Boomer. I'm breaking up to you. Hey, yo! It's that hairline did it! And this man is dancing. This man is newly oh. single and said, yeah. Hello, okay. Yeah. Okay. And we're dancing with him. Hey, yeah. A beast on the dance floor. Yo. Let's go find Belle. Guys, sorry to do this to everyone. All right. Hey, hey what's up, Belle? Hey, yeah. Uh, what's sorry. up, Belle? Okay. We got some bad news. Oh, what should I do now that Beast has broken up with me for dancing with Charles A. Boom? <laughs> Bruh. Stop laughing. Should I try to win back his heart? Okay. Um... I do not think you should try to win back his heart because I'm a firefighter and very trustworthy. And honestly, the beast was dancing with other girls. Nice. Let's see what bro, Belle says here. Bro, 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 bro. Uh, firefighter, you're right. I shall confront Beast and tell him what I think of his behavior. Let's see. W, Will w, they break w, up Riz, here? W Riz, W Riz, W Riz, W Riz, W Riz. Did we beat the w game? W Riz, W Riz, W Riz. Yeah! W Riz, Bell. I can't believe you slow danced and held hands with Charles A. Boomer. That's it. I've had enough. We're breaking up. Oh, Beast, I understand. But remember what the trustworthy firefighter said? You were dancing with other girls, too. It's all just a big misunderstanding. Nope, I made that up. W Riz. I don't want to hear your excuses, Bell. This is the final straw. I can't trust you anymore. We are done. I see. We made a bunch of drama. Don't do this. Oh, bruh. Beast, please. Can't we talk about this? I still care about you. Let's not end things this way. Oh, I feel kind of bad for her. Hey, oh. yo, he hit that, bro. It's too late for that, Bell. I made up my mind. I need some space, some time to think about it. Goodbye, Bell. Did we actually get them to break up, bro? Beast, I... Bro. I... I can't believe this is happening. Farewell, my grumpy beast. May you find happiness in your solitude. Well, that is messed up that we did that, bro. That is crazy. All over Charles A. Boomer. Wow. Bro, that's a W we broke them up. Yeah.